Jesaya Hatutale is a mathematics, physics, biology and chemistry teacher at the Vanduk Technical High School. Hatutale has a passion for science and explains what happens during a lightning strike. Lightning is actually a way to discharge. It's a, it's, it's a phenomenon used in discharging charges, so, which means uh, mostly during uh, the, the thunderstorm we have uh, a lot of uh, charges that are built up in the sky, especially on, on the clouds, uh, and also you know, charges that are induced uh, on the ground. So lightning can take place there in the sky, between the clouds, and also on the ground. Harutale emphasizes that lightning is not controlled by man and says no human per se can attract a lightning strike. What attracts lightning it's, is actually the, um, the, the surfaces uh, where we are. Um, it's very crucial to understand that um, lightning is attracted mostly by tall structures, for example tall buildings or tall trees one would say. Uh, it's also attracted by an open space, uh, isolation to say, uh, and also um, some conduction. The science teacher reiterates the risk of being in an open space, which he says risks more danger. You need to be in an enclosed house, in, in an enclosed house, and then when you're in, in the house, stay away from the windows, especially the metal flames. Um, uh, remember anything metal create a pathway through which the current flow and, uh, and the lightning is, is uh, static electricity, which we should, uh, so which means if, if it's in contact with the metal, it will pass through and if you are close to it, you may receive uh, that shock and quite, quite significant amount of energy. Among others, one has to avoid being close to doors, porches or concrete.